Hi, welcome to vegan business and marketing tips for cafes, restaurants, cloud kitchens, home bakers and chefs. If you're vegan and you either own or plan to start a vegan food business and you'd like to do this in a joyful, peaceful, deeply fulfilling way, then you're in the right place. I'm Susmita Veganosaurus and I'm so glad you're here. So, you've started a brand new vegan business and you're fizzing with excitement. At first, every task and challenge is a fun adventure. You want it all to have your personal touch. That passion fueling your brain makes you believe you can do every single thing yourself. Here are a few things you might have said to yourself or you might have thought. I'll give my number to all customers so they can reach me anytime. I'll personally deliver the goodies myself even if it means spending an hour commuting. I'll stay up late into the night responding to all queries on emails or DMs. Guess what? It gets old. Fast. Believe me, I learned this the hard way. <laughs> when the business is really small, maybe these things might work. But the moment you start growing even a little bit, overwhelm hits you. So here's a question for you. Do you want your business to expand beyond hobby level? Because there's nothing wrong with it being a hobby. Huh? If you want to keep it that way, no problem. You can do every little thing yourself and, you know, just grow it more like a work of art. But if you feel like, no, I need to grow my business a little bit bigger. I need it to become more uh, sustainable and, you know, plan things for the longer term then you have to start behaving like a damn boss. <laughs> Spend more time on your business than in it. Here are some simple practices you can put into place to make this happen. 1. Avoid repetitive tasks. What can you make automatic? Where can you build systems? Like, for example, getting orders online versus you interacting and having to uh, take the orders manually yourself. Or keeping some template texts ready so that when you need to respond to some frequently asked questions or other queries, you're able to copy paste that text and then personalize it as required. These are just some examples of how you can avoid repetitive tasks and have systems set up in place so that you don't have to get so involved in things that unnecessarily take your time. 2. Delegate Don't spend any time or energy where you don't have to personally do so. Trust your team or if you don't have a team, if you're a solopreneur, trust people in your life to take over certain tasks. I'm sure there are people to support you. It could even be as simple as trusting somebody who helps you clean up the place, trusting them to do uh, some other tasks related to your business or something like that. So where can you delegate so that your personal time doesn't go into things where it isn't required? 3. Outsource Apart from your team, your family, your support system, there are people outside of your business who can actually take on certain tasks, certain work, which uh, will just help simplify your life. So look into what services or apps are available out there that will help make things easy for you. And especially do things which you don't really enjoy doing so much or which doesn't necessarily require personal touch 
or uh, even something which you may not be good at but somebody else is better at it than you uh, so some examples would be creating some content for you uh, if you are not very interested in writing or uh, you know photography or video editing and stuff like that somebody who who's able to do beautiful photographs of your dishes so that you can list them on your uh, website and online places where you sell it and stuff like that uh, think of where all you can outsource things and then you know make things easy for yourself for collaborate <laughs> this is something i just gonned on about don't i <laughs> collaborations are magic see there might be similar businesses already doing what uh, you need to do connect with them and see how you can support each other uh, for example if there is another vegan business nearby and both of you maybe you can hire the same delivery partner to take both your orders together i mean that's just one example off the top of my head but uh, there are many ways you can collaborate so that you know you have company you have support and you you're working with people who are already doing what you're doing too so you'll kind of gel with each other and really be of help to each other it will be very mutually beneficial some of these things cost money yes particularly like outsourcing and stuff but we all tend to forget that our time is money if you spend all your time on running your business then you won't have the mental physical or emotional bandwidth to build it into something bigger and when i say bigger i don't mean huge i'm i'm always you know you know you've heard me talk about not being overly ambitious you do what is in your capacity right but any kind of shift change growth of a business any kind of um, transformations that it requires needs you to be away from the business step outside and look at it from the outside perspective if you are stuck doing day to day things all the time and dealing with stuff that you don't really have to uh, do it yourself and you're probably doing it because you want to you know you feel like oh only i can i know how to do it best and you know perfection and what not <laughs> uh, so that if you are stuck doing that then you won't have time to step away and really uh, think about how to uh, transform your business adapt it to the changing needs be creative you know with new ideas for how you can develop the business all these things require mental peace and some space and time for yourself which is why you need to see how you can uh, spend more time on your business than in it besides if you're spread too thin you won't be able to give the best experience to your customers either personally i'd rather pay a little more for a seamless easy experience than get dragged into the business's issues no <laughs> i'm sure you would too So spend some time today introspecting on where you're personally executing tasks you don't have to. You'd be surprised at the revelations and solutions that present themselves. So for this I hope you've got your workbook handy and look at today's section in the workbook all the questions related to this lesson and then spend some time today working things out for yourself. the earlier you do this in your business the better it is but yes even if you're deep within your business we can always relook at things you know over and over again so that um, see our goal should be to simplify things for ourselves make it easy make it smooth stress free frictionless as much as possible for this we have to keep reviewing things over and over again so that as the business grows expands transforms Uh, takes a different shape or perhaps you are a little bit away not to attach not to bog down by regular tasks and you are able to make the right decisions to help your business and therefore your uh, team if you have a team uh, your customers because obviously you're going to bring in good energy <laughs> so all of this so if you don't have the workbook yet download it the link is in the show notes the description of this episode 
All right, talk to you in the next episode. Bye.